Hey, welcome back to another episode of Dave and Ray's Projects Around. Today we're at a uh, customer's house. As you can see here, they're going to be having their carpet replaced. And they got a couple spots on the floor. I don't know if you guys can see this on video. That is soft. She wants us to take a look at it. Uh, just a, a quick exploratory over here. We bent back the boot uh, here and took a look. Uh, I measured this. It's 7 16 Decking should really be three quarter of an inch. And if I'm guessing, it's probably not tongue and groove. And that's why at this joint right here, it, uh, it's gotten soft. We're gonna double check this. We're gonna do an exploratory hole. Uh, take a look, just to make sure that there's nothing else going on down there. It's gotta be replaced anyway, or at least fixed uh, before Thursday. Today is Tuesday. The uh, owner of a carpet company gave me a call and asked me if we could take a look at it real quick. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's the problem, man. All right, so here's the problem. The reason that they're having a little sagging here, this is, you can look in this crack, it's not tongue and groove, so it's not locking together. Actually, this is a fairly easy fix. Uh, we can just put a couple two by fours across here underneath Put that patch right back in there and she should be good to go because this hat this little plug isn't gonna hurt anything missing here um, So yeah, we can take care of that and I believe she's got some other issues out here in the hallway uh, They're gonna have the carpet replaced anyhow, so we'll peel the carpet back take a look. It's probably gonna be the same thing Of huh? This is the old foam padding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been here 18 years, and this carpet went in. Yeah, I think that's the, I think that's the same the same issue here. Well, yeah, I think that's the same issue. See, look at see here, Tracy. Uh huh. Where's? You want to turn the light on? This is the next phase in their. Uh, videos are going to replace this carpet here uh, so when it comes time to that and the contractors come in and pulled all the carpet out we'll go back and we'll go ahead and make the repair here and there's a couple other spots so when we come back tomorrow night we'll show you how we're going to make this repair be uh, quick easy and uh, she'll feel a whole lot better about it no more of this but this is what happened it's right at the joint and there's no tongue and groove so they're not tied together and the, home, the homeowner said this house is over 40 years old, so, you know, human beings walking on it for 40 years has caused that to just get a little weak there. And we'll, we'll, we'll fix that problem. We'll show you how we'll do it tomorrow night. All right, so join us in. Hey, guys, welcome back to day two. Uh, Ray and I just arrived. He's got the cat's paw out. I'll show you that. We're going to pull the nails, and I'll show you what we're going to do here to fix this. Problem. All right, so Nate, uh, Ray's got a cat's paw. What that does is it gets in there and pulls the nails. We're going to cut along here over to this floor joist. And you can see the nails right here for the floor joist. And then we'll cut down there. We're going to remove this piece, and then I'll show you what we're going to do after that. All I can see is the video. Close 17 seconds. I mean, who cares? All I can see is your big old butt, so I got to find it. All right, well, we don't want to look at my butt. Yeah. On center should be... Now, yeah, let's go 16. I don't know. It should be 16 inch on center. I don't know if it's exactly on center, so I just want a little bit bigger, 16 and a quarter. Those nails work. Okay. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Just uh, here. All right, so. Pointed at me instead of at the ground. 
All right, so what we did, what I did is I set the blade for just about 9 16. So that's the thickness of this plywood. All we want to do is cut down to the top of the joist and then we'll cut over here. This whole piece should pop right out. Ready, Ray? Yep. Hey Chad. You want me to kill this? Huh? You want me to kill this? Why are you talking about? Yeah, it's perfectly fine in here. Nice and dry. Wow. Well, it's got one one bad of insulate uh R looks like R16. Mm-hmm. Which is perfectly fine. Okay. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna run a two by four from here to here, split the difference, here to here, split the difference. Put that board right back down there and glue it. Okay. That's, okay. That's it should be good. That that'll take because this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this was the end grain of a board. Wow. That's why you got that. This is a cross grain. Uh -huh. so that's why you're getting no sag. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's just an end grain. Okay. And that's all the repair will be. And that's why I said we'll take care of getting you guys squared away later on. We'll just vacuum everything up. That's not a good idea. Uh, my square over there is speed square. Yep. Now it's in the hole. It's in the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Is that my phone or your phone? That's mine. It never stops going, man. Hmm? So we'll, let's get some glue, okay. and we'll get some glue on that. Since we're putting this underneath here, mm -hmm. we're going to run a bead of construction adhesive. Decking screws. See the glue squeeze out of there. All right, 
grapple tool. All right, so now we'll just repeat that on this side and we'll bring it back when we go to put this all back. So here's a piece that we took out. We're gonna put that right back in and we're gonna glue it. So let me go ahead and put the glue. Now, two reasons for the glue, to help secure it better. And the other thing is glue will take out the squeaks in the floor. If you ever walk on the floor and go squeaky, squeaky, it's probably, it probably doesn't have any construction adhesive underneath it. And what happens is over time, even screws and nails will loosen up a little bit. And then the material will squeak. So we're going to keep that from happening. There you go. Now we'll just screw it back in place. We're just using inch and quarter decking screws. And to cut the edge of that two by four. Once you give it a test and stand on it here, let me get this. Last one. Please go ahead and give it, a, give it a walk on. Good. Well, that squeaked well, like your yeah. 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 Alright, good to go. All done. Hey, thanks for watching again, and please give us a thumbs up. I hope you have a great day. Nice job.